Hello and welcome to the show that aims to provide you with the information about technology that's currently trending. I'm Toby. And I'm Shannon. Have you ever used a flying drone before? I live in the city, so if I used it, I'd be afraid someone would get paranoid and swat it out of the sky with a rock or something. No doubt. Yes, it's true. Some people find modern day technology daunting, intrusive and the social damnation of modern society. Later in the show, we'll be uh, examining this premise by speaking to PC World Specialist Charlotte. But first, mobile phones. Technological giants are constantly innovating the mobile phone market as demand is huge. This leaves us with a huge selection of phones to choose from, all having distinct features. But what do you think? As you know, social media is taking over the world. People's eyes are literally glued to their phones. Phones have developed over the years and people are always after the latest phone or gadget. Phones started off with being a way of communication via text or call, but now they are so much more than that. Since technology developed, phones have become a lot more advanced. Let's start off by looking at modern phones. So, as you can see, we are looking at few a few modern phones from Im images previously shown that, that you can see ranges of different types of phones. These examples include the iPhone 6, Samsung Galaxy S5 and the HTC One M8. Let's start with the iPhone 6. The iPhone 6 has a touchscreen like any other iPhone. The screen is so much bigger though, and the iPhone 6 Plus is even bigger. Wow, 4.7 like inches. It has a better camera and excellent zoom features. Did you know that the iPhone 6 not only has a password lock, but now has a new feature, which is a fingerprint re recognition? So what's that? Basically, you can set up your fingerprints onto the phone under settings, and it is used as a different way of unlocking your phone. And you just simply put your finger on the home button and it unlocks your phone. It only works with your fingerprints. Can you still access a range of different apps through the App Store to download onto your phone? Yes, and it's even better. Now due to a wider variety of apps to choose from. It will also automatically update your apps uh, when there is a new update, so you will have the latest versions of your social networking sites. It has 4G, which means faster internet. Sounds good, but let's, that's enough for iPhones now. Let's look at the Samsung Galaxy S5. So what does this phone have? This phone also has a built-in fingerprint scanner, which means your phone is a lot safer. I'm definitely liking the sound of this fingerprint scanner, aren't you? Yep, and guess what? It's also water resistant, which means your phone will keep working pretty much everywhere. And also, like the iPhone, it has 4G, which means faster internet. Yay! Is the camera any good on it? Of course. Did you know that it will go into focus in 0.3 seconds? That's much faster than the human eye blinks. I heard you can get all the social networking apps on it too, and other apps such as games, alarms, etc. We're running out of time, but let's look at our last phone, the HTC One M8. So guess what? This phone also has 4G, so it's going to be much faster. It has a fantastic sound quality for a start, and I heard the camera has amazing quality too. I also heard that you can answer your calls by just picking up the phone, so you don't have to press anything to answer. Does it, like other phones, have access to popular social networking sites as Facebook? Uh, yes, it does. So, just remember, phones never used to be like this. They used to be so simple. Yeah, well, yes, technology has developed over the years and has got a lot better. I used to have a really old phone when I was a child. It looked like this. What could you do on it? That was years ago. This phone didn't have internet on it like recent phones. It had a few basic games such as Snake, and it could really only text and call. I can't believe how much phones have changed. We've definitely come a long way, and for the better. So I'm Jake, I'm going to interview Charlotte and we're going to be talking about technology and place at Curry's. How long have you been working for Curry's in PC World? I have been at Curry's 15 years in April coming up. How have you found working here so far? Uh, I like it. There's been advantages over the years, but obviously at the moment in the current climate the wages aren't very good but I do enjoy my job I enjoy speaking to customers and I like it what department do you work in I do the whole shop so I sell anything from mp3 players tablets washing machines fridges laptops TVs well what's the weirdest gadget that you sell here at PC world Okay, so I think the weirdest gadgets are like the drones. Oh, yeah. They're not weird, but they're really fun. Yeah. But I think the electrical market over the years, so the weirdest thing I think we've sold since I've been here is swimming pools. So we've sold things over the years to try and make more profit, like wrapping paper, swimming pools, bikes. But that was weird. When, when they brought in swimming pools. 
but the weirdest thing at the moment is like the new internet of things which is like fit bands as you can see i'm not into exercise and i couldn't think of nothing worse than having a fit band being obsessed con that's what in is constantly obsessed with what we look like everything and i think the internet has a lot to blame for that black friday and boxing day were peak times for sales how do you think customer behavior changed during that time i don't know about the customers but it's horrific to work because the customers like electricals everybody wants it cheap now they don't care if it's built in a factory mass produced they just want the cheapest product which i think is wrong because if you pay for something you want quality so you have that mentality people were cute on black friday was the biggest taking day for dixon's curry's pc world they'd ever had and people were mental they just wanted a bargain which they did get but boxing day boxing day everyone should be closed tell me more well it's consumerism isn't it it's the new disease i feel Thanks, Charlotte, for you know talking about your views and you know, making yourself available to talk to us. You're welcome. Do you like video games? Of course you like video games, you love them. So here's Shannon to tell you about the current releases. Hi, I'm Shannon, and in this segment of the show, we are going to be looking at video games. Specifically, we are going to be looking back over the past year and five of the top games. Now, the most recent development in gaming has been next-gen consoles. Next-gen consoles have allowed gamers to enjoy a high level of gaming on par with PCs. Now, let's take a look back at some of the best games from the last year. First off, Grand Theft Auto V. Grand Theft Auto V is one of the most popular games in the world, and fans were left waiting five years for it. Grand Theft Auto was also given a rating of 10 out of 10 by IGN, as well as 9.4 from the community. It truly is one of the most popular games in the world. The next game is Destiny. Destiny is Bungie's first game since its extremely popular Halo series, but could Bungie pull it off with Destiny? Destiny received a rating of 7.8 out of 10, which is not the best rating. However, the rating from fans was higher at 8.1. Destiny then is rather a significant game, but next is Dragon Age Inquisition. This is the first Dragon Age game in three years and the first to appear on next-gen consoles with high expectations. Dragon Age Inquisition is rated very highly among the fans of the game series as it receives a rating of 8.9 out of 10. In the first week of Dragon Age released, it sold 1.14 million units more than any previous game from the developer of Bioware. We continue with The Last of Us. Perhaps the most popular game of the last, despite the fact it was only on PlayStation. The Last of Us is rated highly by gamers and reviewers alike, receiving an average rating of 9.9 .9 out of 10. The Last of Us was so popular it was re-released for their next-gen console, the PlayStation 4. Even though the game isn't on Xbox consoles, Xbox gamers still rate The Last of Us very highly. We are going to finish with Sunset Overdrive the newest game from Insomniac. Sunset Overdrive is Insomniac's first game released on both consoles and their first game of next generation consoles. But Insomniac impressed everyone with the original new game for everyone. It received an average rating of 8.9 out of 10. That's all we got time for today. Thank you for watching. To battle! What would you rate it, Destiny? Well, personally, I've never played the game before, but from what I've heard, it seems like a pretty good game. I heard the same. Anyway, if there's anything we can learn from the Smart Belt, a belt that has a computer in it, it's that technology is becoming integrated with pretty much everything. Gadgets. What are they? They all seem to confuse me. Do you know what they are? Well, in a nutshell, a gadget is a device or an accessory that makes you and your smartphone happy. Why do you like gadgets? Do you mean like advantages? Yeah, I suppose. Well, these gadgets work faster for you to search through information. That is a huge plus. 
Is there anything else that makes you like them? Anything else you'd like to know? Well, I think our audience would like to know about what kind of gadgets that are actually available. Well, this is a tricky question. Gadgets are changing every single day. But the top gadget of 2014 was the Polaroid camera. That's not surprising. It's a very nifty bit of tech. Mm. What's the top gadget of 2015? Well, to be precise, January 2015. The top gadget of January 2015 is the selfie stick. Is there anything good about the Polaroid? Well, the pictures come out instantly, but you have to wait for the pictures to develop. But it is worth the wait after you've seen the picture. Anything good about the selfie sticks? These days, everybody loves taking selfies. There's even a song about it. Oh, I've heard that. It's I don't have an opinion on that one. Me neither. But when it, when it comes to the Polaroid camera, you always have to buy the film for the camera. But when you run out, it costs a lot. But the best way to buy it is to go on Amazon or eBay. Anything bad about the selfie stick? Nothing really, but it will be embarrassing if you take a selfie by yourself. What's the point of using a selfie stick if you do it alone? That's true. Well, did you know that the correct name for a selfie stick is a monopod or a GoPro? Wow. Did you know that it was founded in 1978? Hmm, interesting. What about anything else? There are many types of Polaroid cameras. You have to be very careful looking for the right one. All right, then. I'm going to talk about Polaroids. The Polaroid films are, are at least more than £10 in Amazon and eBay. The real product lets you s save up with quite a bit, so good luck. You can find the product from Urban Outfitters. Just go on the website and search for the cameras. I will go there as soon as I can. Anything about the selfie stick? Anything else? Like the Polaroids, you can buy it on the internet, but the reads read the instructions first, as you might look like an idiot if you don't know what you're doing. They come in different colours. You can use them anywhere. And also make sure you've got the right one for the right phone as well. Pro tip. The smart belt is something I need in my life. Next week, perhaps? Yes. Ambiguous gadgetry is something we love here on this show. Next week, we'll definitely have to try out the smart belt for ourselves. We're running out of time. I would have liked to have touched up my gecko pads myself, but I guess we'll save that for next week. Gecko pads and smart belt combine, combine perhaps. Gecko likes superpowers with the effectiveness of weight control. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.